So at this point, we were treated to an optional cutscene. The cutscene you saw is completely different depending on whose affection is higher between you and Lulu. And really, I did this as a part of a strategy. You notice that one with two teams when we hit the Makalania Woods and the Thunder Plains. It was Orin with uh, Lulu and Yuna. And it was Titus with Riku and Waka, and sometimes we have Kamari join. The reason for that is the fact that since I have him exclusively at a party with Riku instead of Lulu, and I ended up having to heal her sometimes and stuff like that, it raised the affection to the point where she, um, is the one who rides with Titus in that cutscene. I feel like more people, more often, end up seeing the cutscene that's with Lulu, where they pretty much talk about the extreme amount of racism that Waka has for the Albed. Which, I feel like this game really handles, like, like, the battle of, essentially, uh, religion. The religious people are, I guess, creationists, I guess, against, um, against, like, the scientific movement or atheism that would be here really well. At least that's my opinion. I feel like they handle that really well with the, the whole argument between Riku and um, Waka, where she says, why, why do you have to believe in this thing blindly? Why can't you think for yourself? And he says, well, do you have any proof of the other thing? And it's, it's so great because you see this extreme amount of ignorance from Waka, and it's so great to see him be completely, you know, just all in. He's just completely in this and he's not gonna budge on his opinion, you know? And this fanaticism that shows you how how far Yevon goes and I feel like Waka as a result is one of the games. The, the game has a what I think is a really amazing cast of characters and he gets to be really stand out in the fact that he's just super racist. You may think it's bad that he's like that. You may think it's, like, ridiculous that I'm even complimenting it, it but I'm going to, because it's great. It's great to have characters that are multidimensional and very flawed. So having him just be both a fanatic of the religion and just completely against it, when there are characters that, that truly believe in Yevon, you know, like, say, Lulu, and you see that she's not affected the same way that he is. He, he's completely okay with it, you know? She's completely okay with it, but Waka isn't. So it's great to see the different parallels, and there are reasons why he's... why he is the way he is, and I feel like that's... that's uh, really interesting. So a little question for the comments. I wanted to ask you guys, uh... How many of you have experienced the Riku cutscene, where she goes with you, and how many people have, uh, experienced the Lulu one? If you play through the game, I'm interested in who got what. I feel like the Lulu one's the more common one you get, because Lulu's a much stronger character than Riku, even though Riku has the potential to be one of the better characters a lot of the time. Whenever you see people do, uh, runs of the big, big super boss in the game, it's usually, um, Titus, Riku, and Waka, because they're the speedsters a lot of the time, but, uh, really interested in what, what other people get. But, uh, yeah, I just think that's one of the best things in the game, hands down, just straight up. This game, I feel like every character has an arc, and every character has, like, importance. It, it, it pays off well. Also, I have a lot of Mega Potions. Um, if you're ever in the moon flow, for those of you who are ever playing up to that point, and you get Riku with the chests, if you grind there, you can steal from those chests and get a bunch of Mega Potions out of it. And Stamina Tablets, which if you use them in battle will double the max HP of a character, which is also really good. I don't use it though. Anyway, let's head into the temple. So we can actually, um, take this long expanse here, which is nice. Huh, Lena. You're level 7. Sure. I need more Bloodsball players. 
Wait, you're an Albed Psych, too. Well, hopefully you play well. I love these panning shots. This is, this is one of the temples that you hardly visit in the game, to be quite honest, but it is one of my favorites. It's also not present in 10 2. So, feels nice to go down this long road that has no random battles. It will later. Halt! The likes of her are not welcome in this hallowed place. She is a guardian. A, an all bed? A guardian? Preposterous! I've decided to be Yuna's guardian now, and that's all I want. And that's all one needs to be a guardian. Very well. I also didn't point this out initially when you see her, because the PS2 version does a better way of showing her eyes. There's a scene where Orin first meets Riku and says, look at me and make sure your eyes are open. All the Albed have spiral uh, irises. The black part, it spins around like a spiral. And since they use Machina, it all but confirms that a crossover between Final Fantasy X and Gurren Lagann can begin. In fact, there's probably already a fanfiction for it. I will hold you personally responsible if anything happens. Well, it's not my fault. Blame Warren. He's the one that pushed her in. Mr. Seymour and Lady Yuna. I couldn't be happier even if it was my own wedding. Now victims of sin will have something to be joyful about. Yeah, I guess so. You're not happy? Nah, it's complicated. Say, um, do you know where Yuna is? I believe. She's gone to the Cloister of Trials, with Maester Seymour. This is a very nice temple. Got the little magic Lord crystals Jessica. and everything. A sphere in Lady Yuna's belongings. Oh man, things are getting heavy. We can finally see this sphere. They've been teasing it for a while now. This may well answer a few questions. What I am about to tell you is the unclouded truth. I swear it on my honor as a Guado. Listen to me very carefully, for I shall tell you the truth about my son, Seymour. His mind is closed, even to me, a maester of Yevon. But I can feel flames of darkness burning in his heart. He is using Yevon, the Guado, and even the Summoners. If he is not stopped, he will surely bring destruction and chaos to Spira. I will leave this world soon, killed by my own son. But I do not fault him, because I was not wise enough. He has suffered and become twisted. I could not protect him and his mother from the world and its cruelty. I will accept death as punishment for my deeds. But whoever is watching this, I implore you to stop, Seymour. Stop, my son. Wonderful. Will Yuna be all right? <laughs> Without us, no. Where you going? You saw it, didn't you? Seymour's bad news. But he's a maester! Ah, fine. Stay here if you want. Come on, Waka. Let's at least hear him out. This can't be happening. 
Also to add to Waka's character, his world's falling apart. First, we, he finds out there's there's out beds everywhere and, and, and as guardians. And now we're gonna go punch essentially a pope. A pope, man. I like punching popes. How was wrong you? <laughs> Ronso, he... Bavel will hear about this. <sighs> oh, okay. Oh yeah, you're still selling the same stuff? Looks like it. Hmm. This'll help her more. Oh, I hear Lady Yuna is still gonna continue her journey, huh? I wonder if that means she and Maester Seymour will fight Sin together. Just like Lady Yunaleska and Lord Zeon. Well, enough of that. We have to go. Kimari's up ahead. Go. Right. We will protect Yuna from anyone. Even a maester. <laughs> uh, this can't be happening. If he is truly at fault, it must be done. Well, it's good to know they completed the Cloister of Trials. Saves me the trouble. Please be silent. Lady Yuna prays to the faith. Make me! Sphere. You killed him. What of it? Lady Yuna, certainly you knew of these things, did you not? <laughs> well then, why have you come here? I came... <sighs> I came to stop you. I see. You came to punish me, then. What a pity. Ah, of course. Protect the summoner even at the cost of one's life. The Code of the Guardian. How admirable. Well, if you're offering your lives, I will have to take them. Maester Seymour, I trust my guardians with my life, but they are also my friends. I will not stand by and watch them be hurt. I will fight you too! All right! Maester Seymour! So be it. Let's get started. The boss fight against Seymour. After they do protective magic, let's see if I can get any information on him. Hmm. Well, let's see. A lot of guardians have about 2,000 HP. Hmm. I'd have to deal with them. People are gonna get mad at me again. I know they will. 
Oh, my controller died. Eh? 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 But I will still fight. Your eyes, they burn with resolve. Beautiful. Now our magic defense goes up. Well, let's use dark attack. So whenever they get hit, they do an auto potion. That can't be good. While we steal from them. I think if you steal from them, they can't auto potion anymore. How dare you make me waste your turn? What do you have? An elixir. So he casts spells in a specific order. It's Blizzard, then it's Thunder, then it's Water, and then Fire. It's interesting to know. So we... Oh man, but we can't use any attacks against Seymour. These guys will tank it. No matter. Let's say how you deal with the Yuna's very high magic. Wasn't enough to seal the deal. Though I know this will. Wait, no it won't. It'll miss by one. <laughs> no! Don't kill Yuna. Oh, she's dead. You take care of this one. Also, people are wondering, man, Casey, why are you wasting your money? I don't know. I feel like screwing around a little bit, guys. I'm sure there'll be a point where I wish I had money, but, you know, it's about living a little. Now, the best way to shut down this boss is to constantly cycle between the Null Blaze and Null Frost and Null Shock abilities the unit has to make you immune. But I'm going to see how I do without doing that. Maester! We must stop this! Ah, this can't be happening! Of course, they give us magic defense, because that's important right now. Alright, he's got about 5,000 HP. That should be hard to get down. And he's got some defense on him. Let me do a little bit of absorbing. Try to delay attack. Even if this doesn't work, it'll deal damage. As I thought. Hmm. Let's heal up. Hmm, we have not used Tetis yet. I knew you were bad news the first time we met. Oh, my sincerest apologies. Seymour!
Yuna, the new Aeon! Hmm, that sounds like an idea. But first, let's get Lulu in so she can get some credit for the fight. Excellent. <laughs> oh no. Up. Oh, Faith, lend me strength. That's awkward. Might as well summon the mysterious Aeon. Um, this mysterious Aeon that's totally called Shiva, she is good at dealing damage and delaying attacks and generally screwing with you, but since she is an elemental Aeon, we will be able to heal her with ice attacks. For now, though, I can just throw these things on the damn thing. Oh, this will hurt. How much health do you have? This thing has like 18,000, yeah it does. Luckily for us, we'll be able to overdrive soon. Adamo's gathering power. We're gonna heal after this one. I don't wanna die. And was trying to do that overdrive, but we're gonna stop him. We have Blazara, nice. You get that going. And we're better. another attack without it getting overdrive? Yeah, we can. Yeah, we can. Because I'm hoping this does max damage again because I want to overkill it, but I'm also on risk of losing. Can I live through two pains? Yes, I can. Okay, we will overdrive after this. Ooh, it barely had it barely doesn't have enough. So let's show off Diamond Dust. Double check. Alright. If, and that is if, if this does max damage, we will defeat it Anima. This is Diamond Dust. It's a pretty cool overdrive. Also note in this lady's design, it looks like she only wears one piece from a bra. Or it may, or actually, it's just the fact that she freezes on one of the other sides. I don't know if this was censoring for something or what. Yeah! Didn't see that coming, Seymour. That power that defeated Anima, it will be mine! So this time, Seymour uses level 3 spells. She ain't getting out of that. She did well, though. She decimated him. Which is pretty much the best thing I could ever ask for. The bad news is that he fully heals himself in between summoning. Which could be hard on some of you guys. However... If we can get an overdrive up on Yuna, we can totally spam an Aeon for an overkill on him. Really, it's just all to get more experience. It's all to exploit that great, delicious experience. I looked away to look at my guide, and why are they both dead? I don't have a Mega Phoenix for that. 
Oh, this is bad. I completely forgot this happens. Oh yeah, Multimate Pandora. Oh no. Oh, oh no. I think we got him. This is our only chance here. We are going to have to get it all on if Veil 4 can kill it with non-elemental damage. We have to hope for max damage or I lose. This isn't good. This, he will kill this Aeon immediately. All in. Go big or go home. Yes! Okay, I would have lost otherwise, and I haven't saved in like four hours. <gasps> Yuna. You would pity me now? Happened here. What, what? What have I done? Wait a minute! It's not our fault at all. Seymour struck first. He's the bad guy. You, you did this, Yuna. Send him. No! Stop! Stay away from him, traitors! We're finished. Now hold on just a minute. Seymour's the bad guy, right? We'll just explain to everyone what happened. It won't be that easy. Let's get out of here. Ah, oh, damn it. Or and Lulu were dead. What a drag. Oh, we never leveled up Yuna, I guess. Well, they lose out. But we do pick up two black magic spheres, so two of our partners, uh, a party member, can also we get Shiva. But um, black magic spheres let the person using them learn any black magic uh, anyone else has learned that they do not know. That will be very useful, say, if someone gets Ultima before Yuna does. No, I'm not going to get health or anything. Is this the way I'm supposed to go? Yeah, it is. I'm not going to waste a black magic sphere on a bio, though. I don't find that useful in the slightest. What are my options for black magic? Drain and drain and the initial um, techniques. So, yeah, not really a reason for it. However, I can learn to do more magic damage. Comparatively, between her and Lulu, her magic is 37, and Lulu's is 27. That is ridiculous. Well, we're gonna do a little bit of leveling here, but yeah, I totally did save in the last three and a half hours of gameplay. Mostly because I didn't think I was gonna lose to anything. There, I was very scared. I would have been very upset that I'd have to go all the way back to the moon flow entrance and then go through all of those areas all over again and did not have an end to this video. <sighs> Would have been funny for you guys though. And then again I don't care about being funny that badly. Um Power Sphere. There we get some more HP out of it. Huh, you're gonna you're gonna learn slow. Well if I want you to learn it. You're gonna get more HP HP though. 
I, I like British people because, uh, like, you always hear them, they have that problem. At least a lot of the British people I watch on YouTube have this thing where they can't say, um, they can't say, um, words that have H in them, uh, without pronouncing the H. Like, um, like, we say HD, and every single first British person I've heard on YouTube, they call it HD. I'm like, excuse me. English better. People that created English. <laughs> Sleep Buster. Oh man, Waka, you're getting stronger by the second here. Man, I love getting mad experience. Those overkills matter, it just gets all that free EXP. But as a result of all this, we've made it. We've made it, and now we have four Aeons to our name. And unfortunately, since Shiva is dead, and same with Ixion, we have to slog through 20 battles without them. Actually, no we don't. Forgot that unless you go to a save sphere, it's a 20 battle limit. What abilities can I give you guys? Ah, I see. Kuraga. Not enough Mega Potions. Oh yeah, you can learn these depending on the potion you have. What do I need for Armor Break? Oh, more of those Key Spheres. Eh, yeah, well, nothing worthwhile then. Well, with that all done, I think I should actually save. Also, we reached a point of no return where we literally cannot play Bloodspot for the next good while. It's unfortunate, I know. But from here, I think I'm going to end off this series of episodes. We've gone all the way from, uh... From, uh, what was it? The moon for, uh, Guada Salam. All the way here. We've made it to our next Aeon. We got quite a few levels. Except for, uh, Lulu and Orin. But next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy X HD... Uh, we're going to deal with the whole fallout of, um... Killing one of the three... Hopes of Yevin. Uh, things are things are gonna start getting heavy as uh, the state of Yevin is starting to fall apart. But uh, until then, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching, and I wonder if someone notices why I'm rearranging these things and why. Until next time. <laughs>